Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We're at the International SAP for Utilities event in Berlin and with me I have... Rick Quamby. Rick, who are you with? Hydro Tasmania. And what kind of size organisation is Hydro Tasmania? Uh, 1,100 people. We're um, one business, a government business enterprise, and we're three brands, one business. So we're a retailer, a generator, and a consultancy business. Okay, and you're uh, a renewable generator? We are. We're all of our um, gener uh, energy is generated by uh, hydro or wind. Fantastic. So renewables. Fantastic. Uh, and how much generation are we talking about? Oh, 2,400 megawatts of hydro capacity. Um, generally, each day our base loads around 700, uh, 1,700 megawatts, so 500,000 customers only, but all renewables. We also have a connection to the mainland, so we connect into the, uh, to the national grid and we, we sell into that as well. And uh, Australia is a deregulated market? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of, bit of both. <laughs> so there is a regulator that looks at pricing, but it is an open market, absolutely. And what have been some of the more interesting projects that you've done recently? Uh, implementing uh, SharePoint, connecting SharePoint together, Microsoft SharePoint, with uh, Content Server, OpenText Content Server, and SAP. And so that there is a connection and a route from the SAP business object, uh, the station, or the individual, or the project, or the customer, and that, that when I go and look at that business object, I find the high currency information. Uh, I'm not cluttered up with, with thousands and thousands of objects. When I go to that business object, I can find what I need, and I can believe it, it's reliable and it's repeatable. That's our target. So what, what was the situation like before you delivered this project? Oh, chaos. Um, you know, p things scattered all over the place, data copied all over file shares, all over th a third party cloud servers. Um, it was just absolute chaos. People do what they have to do to get their job done. What this project has done is enable us to consolidate and bring the source of truth back to a, a place where we can then serve that out rather than have it copied out. Right, so it, it's kind of, it, it, it's helped you with versioning and finding all your, your information. Oh, absolutely it has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you find the high currency information and just govern the high currency information and make sure the integrity of that, then the rest comes along for the ride. So, for example, each power station might have 15,000 drawings, mm -hmm. but in the event of an emergency, I only need 70. Right. So if I manage the 70 really, really well, the rest should come along for the ride. And that's what we're trying to do. Okay, very good. And I saw a video recently as well uh, of, of some of your workers talking about a mobile solution that you'd rolled out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's at the genesis of its operation. We have rolled it out for work orders in the field. So our people in the field are using iPad minis, which they, they really do like, um, albeit the change is steady and, and long. But we've rolled that out as a, as a pilot, if you will, as a, as a test to see how this would go. And now we're going to layer on layer and build that solution up. That's going really, really well. It, it's tough ground, but, but we're getting traction. And has, has there been any uh, challenges in, in terms of uh, change management for people adopting this new technology? Oh, oh, oh. You, you've, you've hit the number one nail on the head. That, that, that's the big bit. You can spend you know, millions and millions of dollars on technology. If you're not implementing change well and you're not engaging the people in the journey, then you've wasted your money and time. That's my focus. My focus is to go and get people to use the system, to explain how to use the system, to coach and teach them to use the system and show them what's in it for them. And how do, you, how do you manage that? I mean, how, how do you get buy-in from people? You go and sit at their desk with them and go through, and, and you, you walk a day in their role. So I've got to sit in their role, I've got to understand what they're trying to achieve, and then I've got to take the technology and deliver that solution to them. So a lot of it's about a lot of listening, a lot of um, understanding, a lot of asking silly questions. I'm not a station operator, um, so I need to understand that role so that I can then go and tailor, if I can, if it's at all possible, and deliver to that role. Okay, and outcomes from these projects? Oh, look, so far we're getting some really exciting things going. Uh, we've got a couple of portals there where from home an engineer gets an emergency call. Uh, he or she can then pick up an iPad without getting out of bed, log into the system, look at security cameras, look at what's going on at the station before they actually have to go and respond to that. Uh, they, the data that they need is accessible into the single source of truth. They haven't got copies sitting all over the place on memory sticks or whatever. Uh, that's been a real, really interesting uh, change in the way people think. Uh, when people see that it's simple, it's fast, and they can believe the data, they'll start to engage in the journey. And uh, we've got a project called SIMS, which I'm really excited about, Station Information Management System, and it's setting a framework of change that we're gonna leverage as we go forward.
Okay. Any other future plans for projects? Oh, absolutely. We need to get stuck into um, uh, managing digital assets. So we, we do lots of inspections of dams and canals and weirs and whatever, and we've got drawings and videos and pictures and images scattered all over the place. We want to consolidate those, cherry pick out the high currency information, attach that to the SAP business object, object via open text and SAP, and then send that back out again. So gather all that digital stuff and start to leverage all that from history. You know, we're 100 years old. Uh, if something goes wrong with a dam that was built 80 years ago, I need to see what it was like before we built it, all the way through to today. Right. So it's about getting all that information together, the structured information, the unstructured information, the videos and the pictures, and giving it to someone to make a wise business decision. Because after all, that's what this is all about, making wise business decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Rick, that's been great. Thanks, man. Thank you very much.